Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. Where have you been, by the way? Like, where? Tell me where have you been, because I'm waiting for you since. Anyways, you're welcome here. Um, for our returning subscribers, thank you so much. You guys are the MVPs, right? You are the MVPs. Um, thanks for coming back and back to watch my videos. Please, before you go ahead, please don't forget. If you're here to subscribe, to subscribe to the channel. Click the like button, comment down below. It encourages a lot. Thank you, best as much as possible. I do justice to um, make this video not so long, very informative and very helpful. And then, okay, I think why I'm marking the video on this video is because, um, like, three people reached out to me. I I got the I got um, DMs yesterday. I know the first day, but when I posted the last video. Um, asking me about some things about service and all that, what they need to do, how they can get connection, how they can, and then truthfully, I was really happy because it made me realize that I have a small community. Even if, like they just three that message me back, those some people that watch and they might not need any help, right? But then it really gave me goosebumps, more few spines, more few shivers running through my spine. But then thank you guys so much, like. It's even the effort for me from YouTube. I think I I put connect with me on my um, description box below. Um, connect with me on Instagram. My business account below my confidential. My personal account which is flaky. My second business account confidential tree. So I think um, they went to my daily by confidential account because I think that's the account that has my phone number there. Yes, and then they went to my DM. Like it's the effort for me. Like it means so much to me. Thank you so much. You are among the people that reached out to me. I really appreciate it so so much. And trust me, you are among the first percent of what I'm doing this video today because it's encouraging at least the ask people that are watching and they are learning and they want to, you know, guide us along the way. This intro is already getting too long, but then it's very important for me to do this. Um then I um, must also say that um I think I had someone that you know a bit explained things. I would have had a bit of. I wouldn't have had. I wouldn't have had challenges in camp, right? But then I had. Um, I made mistakes some places. Made some mistakes. Um, and then that one to have. But I had someone that had told me about all these things, right? I think I would have made the same mistake I made. So without further ado, let's jump right. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget click the subscribe button. Share your family and friends so that they can also come and you know impacted that's the word yeah so let's go right so into this first thing first is um after registering and please don't just say disclaimer or is it disclaimer now important notice notice this video i'm making right now and everything i'm going to be saying now is pertaining those that are posted to the same camp or your state if i don't i don't know how that comes before i don't know how that comes up but everything i'm saying now is based on what i've seen and what i know Concerning is saying camp. So if there's something here and then you put a photo pot and then you are watching and you go there and then it's different. Multi disclaimer. Is that the word? Yes, I think I've already, I've already shall put it out there just for is saying camp people that I'm sure of. What I know that can help. First is um you would need to photocopy your documents, your green slip, your statement of results, your Medical certificate, um, your medical fitness certificate to show how fit you are if you to stay in camp or not. Then um, your registration slip. I think that's all. Then you need passport. You need eight pieces of passport at least for everything you get to be doing on camp. So um, when you get to camp, well, let me just say this for those that we need um, help also. When you get if I don't because you to reach Iseni. I think from people that are traveling from most places, the major area into Iseni is you following through the Ibado road. So when you get to um when you get to Ibado, just take a cab going to Ojo, Ojo Park or um, Samonda, directly opposite Ventura. There's a park directly opposite Ventura. Um just say you're going to Iseni camp, they will take you there by God's grace. I think what happens is that most of the times the cabmen are always they're always available when it's time for 
batches to resume at the camps. I think they also have information on the fact that camp that couples are resuming to camp, right? So they come there and then they help make transport easier because they take you to the front of the camp exactly without you having to look for the camp to go and get the thing and all that. So that's one side. Um, when you get to camp, the first thing they do is they will check your bags and your luggages, like they will check every single thing, like every single thing. To be sure that you don't bring in contraband. Like I said earlier, for your state, they don't allow extension boxes. From what I knew, what I knew, knew, no, no, no. From what I just saw, what I know, yeah. They don't allow extension box, extension boxes. Um, and this is because you get to charge your phone at the market. That's the money market of the camp. You get to charge your phone there. So they don't allow extension box into the camp. So what happens anything they see that is not allowed, they'll just hold it for you, then they will take it, then they'll keep it. Then they are leaving camp. They then they'll write numbers on it for you to make it easy for you to identify your own and all. So when you are leaving camp, you just trade them the number that this number they gave you and they'll have written number of what they seized from you. They'll write the number on your on the tally they gave you, on the item you seized from you, to make it easier to you know pick it up and all. Then um from the that place you go to the pavilion. Pavilion is directly to your right hand side. You see, it's very, very big pavilion. And what I don't know what pavilion means is, I'm sure we've all seen at least a football um, stadium. So, those sitting positions that look like they are arranged, sitting positions that are arranged in steps, you shall sit when you enter the camp. That's what they call pavilion. So, from there, you go to the pavilion for a mini orientation. Some uh, men will tell you about things you're not supposed to do, um, you know. To register and get registration done with at the camp. So they give you a job list, they'll tell you to fill some things and all that. I don't go deep, so so deep because things might actually change, but then I, I think and I should think again that the procedures will not change, but maybe a bit of the maybe a little difference will happen. But for now, what I know what I'm sharing. That's what to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Cutting that. Go back to this. So when you get to the um mini rendition um pavilion, they will educate you on what you're supposed to do, the way you're supposed to go about it, to register and all that to get registration done with for the camp so you can get fully integrated into the camping system and other things. Then from there you your front you see COVID nineteen um personnel, right? That will take your COVID test. Then when you take your COVID test, you go and sit down at the other end of the COVID-19 test. You shall, they shall describe it to you, so it's very easy for you to get it. When you stand there, you get your COVID test. When you get your COVID test, you go back to the, to, um, the back of the pavilion. From back of the pavilion, you will see a compound. Then you go to the hostel part, that's to your right hand, to your left hand side. To your left hand side. You see a lady there. You shall, do, do, sha, do, um, do I As we say, sha, please, for people that are not, Nigerians, that's an excuse though, but then please just help me understand that this video is not sharp about the knowledge you get and about how it will help you when going to camp. So from there, um, you get your hostel location, you're going to get things in the hostel, you come out back again, then you um, go for registration to confirm your certificates, to confirm your status of results for the um, for a lady on the, on the official top officials. To help you get your sign on it for you to get your kits from your um from the people that share any kits and among the nyc personnel that share any kits also from there you get a number then the last number on so let's assume in, let's back book back book back book assume in case so let's assume you get 0843 as the number from the lady that signs your documents for you automatically you're in platoon you're in platoon three because the last number on your the last digit on your number on your number on the tally they are giving you is your platoon and in the camp everything is done by platoon basis is done on platoon basis so if you have um zero one one zero automatically you're in platoon 10 because one zero is the end of the number so from there you go and look for your platoon stand then you get your kids from your platoon inspector so you get your kids and then just turn around because like they made it very easy in a way that from the um, 
registering place i think you are going in, in a circle so it's very easy to identify you're just going around you see them step by step so from the place you get the kit um you then you then get your bank account i know some people will be saying ah, i already have bank account yes we know you have bank account already but then for this nyc you need the bank they will help you open the bank and then you might have you might have, um some people have cases of i have access bank before now and i was put my platform is placed on the access bank right or my number for the access bank to open the bank as you said that's not a problem you just go there and fill i think um that's the bank that is recognized for your allowing you to then you need your vvm for those that don't have vvm please just try to get your vvm before you go to be um place to open to create a new bank account so um from there you're done with the first part of registration on camp then you go and change into your white on white change the activities on camp and that's it for registry i hope this has um i hope this has helped someone and please ask questions please don't um don't say you are on your own ask questions because you are saying don't bury your location just every, just ask questions for your own good because i think that the mistake i made also was that from the gate <laughs> maybe god did not even go for computer test she didn't go for nothing she didn't go for orientation she just saw a clean road and then she felt like she was cutting corners and i went straight to the hostel and then they're like excuse me what's your test and i'm like huh so what i didn't have any test so i had to go back to pavilion i had to be dragging my um, box on this road and that was really not convenient for me because it's like me give myself double job right so it's good if you have if you're, um, if you're not sure something please ask questions and i'll be down below i think it's the right thing to say please take sunscreen to camp see i can lay down to beg but i'm not gonna beg you because i want you to be as dark as possible so technically you need it take sunscreen to camp because the anthem on its own for um the copper <laughs> The OIP anthem on its own already has you promising to serve your fatherland, right? Under the sun and in the rain. And trust me, you're going to fulfill that promise to your fatherland because you sing it every single day, right? So please take sunscreen along. I think that's all I'll say for now. And I'll make a part two of this video. Like now, so it's going to be super long. For those that don't need help with registration part, I need help with what to take and what not to take. In the next video, they will all see it there. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I hope you gain one or two, one or two and I'll be able to help someone right now. I feel the next direction on camp on what to do. See you in my next video. If you comment this to encourage you very late, let me know. But then please be helping me to comment to mm -mm, titles. I don't need titles. That's what I'm talking about. I'm still trying to think of the, the appropriate titles to this. But then I'm already lost in the of the Holy Spirit, so just bring me back on track. I must also say that yes, um if I had the first thing first is um the first thing